Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be delving into two crucial articles of the Indian Constitution, Article 29 and Article 30, which specifically focus on cultural and educational rights. So let's dive right in. Article 29 of the Indian Constitution addresses the protection of the interest of minorities. Now when we say minorities, we are referring to any section of citizens residing in India with distinct language, script or culture. The primary aim here is to ensure that these minorities have the right to conserve and promote their unique identity. Clause 1 of Article 29 emphasizes the right to these minorities to conserve their language, script and culture. It's about fostering diversity and recognizing the importance of preserving the rich tapestry of India's cultural heritage. Clause 2 of Article 29 is equally significant. It explicitly states that no citizen shall be denied admission to any educational institution maintained by state or receiving aid out of state funds on grounds only of religion, race, caste, language or any of them. It's a powerful statement against discrimination in educational institutions promoting inclusivity for all citizens. Now let's shift our focus to Article 30, which grants specific rights to minorities, whether based on religion or language, in the realm of education. Clause 1 of Article 30 establishes the right of minorities to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice. This means that communities, whether defined by religion or language, have the autonomy to set up and manage educational institutions in alignment with their linguistic preferences and cultural preferences. Clause 1A of Article 30 introduces a safeguard. In the event of compulsory acquisition of property owned by an educational institution established and administered by a minority, the state is obligated to ensure that the compensation amount does not undermine the rights guaranteed under Clause 1 of Article 30. This is a crucial protection against any potential infringement on the autonomy of these institutions. Clause 2 of Article 30 is about non-discrimination. It states that state shall not discriminate against any education institution, whether managed by a minority based on religion or language in granting aid. This ensures that all educational institutions regardless of their minority status, receive fair treatment and support from the state. So in a nutshell, Article 29 and Article 30 of the Indian Constitution are integral in safeguarding the cultural and educational rights of minorities. They promote diversity, inclusivity and autonomy for communities to preserve their unique identities and contribute to the rich tapestry of our nation. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.